Men on either side of Palutena and a Greninja going to Battlefield. They're getting into it. It's going to be a very dangerous battle for anybody who jumps. Yes. <laughs> Just so very bad. Oh, all right. Very interesting start. I feel like the Buzz and Mr. E, a little bit of change of pace in their last set on stream. I think now they're sort of playing a little more reactive because the other team has started off in such a high gear. This game one is going to be so important for the sake of the information that's going to get gathered from both teams. Yes. Because, like, the Buzz and E, no, they can't just roll over their opponents. Right. They can't just, like, do the usual game plan. Because MGW and Jewel are going to adapt. Yep. They know that they're going to figure out something along the way, and they know that these are characters you can't just roll over. Nice big air, but Yellow Team having a really hard time trying to fight for the stage control. Back, they're not going to do it. Nice preemptive Dolphin Slash as well, but E with the movement. All right. Trade for trade on the stocks, but E trying to make something out of it. They stay alive at 132. Wow, great presence of mind for E to go for that spike. Low risk, high reward. I like the idea. And here we see DeBuzz with some of the probably the finest tech skill I've seen in a long while. Yo, you gotta, sometimes you just gotta stretch your butt and be there. <laughs> sometimes you just gotta smash the stick. It's the littlest button, so it gets like the little, you know, you gotta like make sure. The little button you just love to. Exactly. Everyone's so used to hitting that big one. All right, Jewel on the offensive. Let's see what he's got. Uh, not a whole lot, but. Yo, if that, that dancing blade hits off smash worked, oh I would have been hyped. It was like the sourest spot I've ever seen. You know? All right, MGW on the offensive, not going to connect the forward air, and going to get punished for it. Jewel holding down in the middle of the stage. Some, something's oh. happening from New York. Yeah. There are years in the distance. <laughs> we are here. We are alive. I just and imagine. Right now, we're looking at a 5-3 to three stock count in yeah. favor of red team. And it seems like things have mellowed out since the beginning, where everyone's very cautious about how to swing on each other, how far to press. All right, then we got the up here. Not going to connect, though. Well, what is Jewel doing? I don't know, man. Yo, he's dipping. It's working, I guess. All right, nice little conversion from Red Team. Only a few more stocks to take. Big down air out of shield. Nice, I love the pressure from the buzz. So smart. He's like, you look good in that shield. I'm keeping it. Exactly. Maybe this is a little too big, though. Let me uh, work on that. Yeah, chip it out sometimes. Again, some good pressure from mid-stage. Palu definitely a good character, to say the least. Wow. He ever vigilant at the ledge, immediately takes okay. down MGW, swings at Jewel. We see the share stock. Jewel once again having to survive at high percentages. All right, Jewel, 128. Pretty much any of these hits from the buzz are going to do it back here. Oh, no. It's so smart, MGW with the interrupt. Like, Down Tilt comes out so fast, and Greninja's already a very quick character. God. But he lifts. Yeah, I guess so, man. He's gone. Up are going to do it, though. MTW, one stock, a hope, a prayer. Like, Can he do it? He needs Red Team to self-destruct in some way, shape, or form if they're going to try and take this out. To say the least. Because like, he doesn't have too much percentage on him. And he's kind of hurting at 82%. Yeah. But... Handoffs like these, it's simple damage. Makes the exactly. an easy fight, man. And again, like, he can just command so much space, and then the buzz puts pressure on from downtown. What are you supposed to do in that situation? I guess hope that they hit each other. All right, but it's, it's kind of moving, though. Oh, wow. All right, wow. There's, a, there's a lot about that that I liked. Eh, it's not like this, but overall, a positive experience. Red Team taking that first game. So, that play at the end. Yeah. Um, Walk me through. Now, right before that. All right. <laughs> um, e rolled up, and yep. he shielded right in front of the buzz. He acted as a human shield because he knew that MGW was trying to check him. Down to very fast. Greninja, very fast. Great way to, at the very least, stop the pressure. Yes. But if you're not going plus on shields, you're eating some punish. Exactly. He didn't have to worry about delivering that punish because the buzz is just sitting there charging. And the shield's so good in that 2v1 situation because you can't commit to the grab. Otherwise, you're gone for it, especially if you get percent. Maybe you take a trade at earlier percents, but MPW is in a way that if he goes for the grab, it's not going to work out for him, and that's going to be the game. So he tried to go with the down tilt, but like you said, he was so ready for it and planned accordingly. So we're oh, going we got the switch. Two. Yep. The Robin. And with Town & City being the setting here, I feel like a little bit more room to play is going to be really important for Yellow's team. Yes, especially for Robin. 
one of the things that, that I feel like why Red Team was able to take the momentum more and more as that match went on is that there wasn't that much room to move around on right. on Battlefield. Like, yes, there's the triplats, and yes, the stage itself is all right size. The horizontal, definitely lack. The Red Team was covering that space so well, and they're still covering. Oh, wow, some rare misses from the buzz. Definitely needs to hit those alley-oops, but Jewel gonna still lose his stock anyway for the stage spike. Wow, he is so good, man. He just missed like five attacks from Jewel and still managed to sneak the hits in. Splitting off into 1v1s actually cost Red Team the stage control, but... Oh, nice. This is a messy kerfuffle on the ledge, but yeah. everyone's going to come out of it all right. If anything, Red Team's just going deeper and deeper into advantage with this, because every battle that takes place on the ledge, he is not taking part in it. He's chilling. He's hanging out, man. Wait. This is, I'll be in center stage when he comes by me. He's just waiting to follow up whatever DeBuzz does, and if anything, someone slips away, and he's on the hunt. Yep. It's that simple. Oh, wow, dodges that up smash. Buzz gonna run it back. No, DeBuzz will be interrupted. Big Nair. Takes the stock surprisingly. Three to six right now. Yeah, no, it's a really good start for Red Team. Yep. Coming into this. Yep. All right, what do we got? Pro follow up, no connection, though. A lot of people still getting used to that new knockback. Can you know? yeah, we talk about how Greninja low profiles L Thunder? Yes. Yeah. Allowing L Thunder and Down Tilt to come out on the buzz. And it looked like both of them hit him like especially hard because of that. Alright, he's making it back to ledge. MGW now in a rough spot. How about rough spot man? Jewel. Losing the stock to the back here from the buzz. So much pressure. Runs it back though. Still got some fight left in him. Yeah, they're not they're not the kind of guys that are gonna give up with this uh this type of challenge ahead of them. But man, it's a hell of a challenge. Look at it, he is still chilling on his first stock. And in the grand scheme of things, he doesn't have that much percentage. 139? Yeah, that's hurting. But like, given how he's not as active in these battles, it's something to worry about. The sour back here, not gonna be a, we have a connection here. Yes, easy one. I'm gonna take it. First step to something great for the yellow team fans. After the buzz, not the best interrupt. Nice. Big pass attack, almost taking it there. The buzz on the hunt. Oh wow! So, so deep too. Yeah, still not connecting. And huge back here, 82 percent. And there it is. <laughs> that was a pretty sick movement on the yes. platform, though. Yeah, yeah. Some good stuff in there. Going to be moving on, like I said. Definitely the favorites, but indeed, indeed. All in all, a very good set. And the set to follow that up, to Buzz and Mystery are going to be fighting whoever wins out of Laid and Matty G nice. versus Pelka and Mr. Ryan Nuss. That is a good team for sure. Both of them, I'm very excited to watch it. Let's take a quick look at what else we got going on. Uh, uh, I'm upset about it. Off stream is Light and Don versus Chavo and Kiwi. It was actually oh, but that's pretty nice, dude. Chavo and Kiwi 